Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Elon Musk is trying to insert his name into the world of artificial intelligence with a brand new chat bot called Grok. That's right. Let's go now to Professor of Advanced Media in Residence at the Newhouse School of Public Communication, Shelley Palmer, joining us with a closer look. So, Shelley, what is Grok and why does Mr. Musk want to get involved in AI? Well, I, look, I don't know if people know, but he's one of the founders of OpenAI, the bringers of ChatGPT, and, and he now, of course, is famous for owning X, and XAI is his AI company, and they've decided they're going to bring out a competitive product to ChatGPT. They're calling it Grok. Uh, it's not released for the public yet. It's in public beta. Oh, I'm sorry, it's in private beta, but ultimately, uh, we'll all get a chance to use Grok, Elon Musk's new AI chat client. You'll be able to talk to Grok the way you can talk to ChatGPT or Claude or any of the other chat clients. All right, well, Shelly, we know you've already used this, so tell us what you like about it and what you don't. <laughs> we know you first have. Of all, <laughs> first of all, Elon has said that this is going to have a sense of humor, and he has a sense of humor. Let me tell you, they're going to base some of Grok's responses on X, formerly Twitter, meaning that's what they're training the model from. Now, as you know, how you train an AI model is what you get out of it. So he says this is going to have a better sense of humor than let's say ChatGPT4, and he knows it won't be as good as ChatGPT4, but he thinks it's gonna be important because it, it will give you snarky answers and answers that are Musk-like. So this is like the AI you want to go have a beer with. Is that kind of what he's like saying here? So this will have, so, so Shelly, this is, you're saying like, this thing will take some of its answers from what some things people post on Twitter and X, and that's sort of some of the information. I think you said that it could answer spicy questions is kind of the that, way. He... That's a quote. Dan, I can't think of anything worse. You know, AIs don't at the moment have personalities, but they do have biases. And one of the most important things, all seriousness here, one of the most important things about new AI models and ChatGPT and all of the AI tools that are like that, Claude, Llama, all the, the new models, is we're trying very hard to make sure they're trained properly and that they don't exhibit tremendous bias. Here, Elon Musk says, well, that's not a bug. That's a feature of Grok. We're going to let it be biased and snarky and spicy. It's going to be awesome. It's like, guys, this is going to be for entertainment. It's not going to be for anything else. Like a lot of things Elon's doing. It's just for entertaining. So a lot of be, trash talking. Grok's huh? going to be wild. Some right. spicy responses. Give us an example of a spicy response, shall Boy, we? I wish I could, Tashani, but I'll tell you what, they're not suitable. The ones I've uh, seen, <laughs> so, so this, they're so not this, suitable for, for television audience. So I'll just this, leave it to others yeah. to decide what spicy means. This could have more up-to-date information then, because the AI chat GPT is 2022 or 2021, so this could be more up-to-date, theoretically, well, so it could okay, be a little more so current. Yes, Yesterday, Sam Altman uh, at the Dev Day for OpenAI announced that ChatGPT will be uh, up updated to April of 2023. It's possible that uh, Grok will be more up to date than that, but I would doubtful that it can be more than a few months out of mm -hmm. uh, a few months better than that because it costs a lot of money to retrain the models. These models are not constantly right. trained. Remember, GPT stands for pre-trained transformer. Mm. So when you want to change it, you have to retrain it. I don't think he's going to be a whole lot more current than uh, ChatGPT and dead. certainly less accurate. They're wrapping right. us up. This is, I want to just talk about this for the rest of the show. This I is know great. you love it. Thank All right, Shelly, and for the record, <laughs> our viewers are tough. tough. New oh, no, I, I, I understand that. I just have my own broadcast standards. <clears throat> I want to go have a beer with this uh, Grok. Thank you, Shelly. It just sounds yeah, good. All right, guys. We'll funny. see you next time. I want to have a Merlot with Shelly. Uh, Merlot with Shelly and, yeah. uh, and a beer with Grok. Classy man. Good stuff.